What's up guys, Saf here on Super Saf TV and 2023 has already been a great year for smartphones. I have four top flagship devices here, which all have something in common. Should be pretty easy to guess what that is. They are all, of course, powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 mobile platform. And I've partnered with Qualcomm to tell you about the range of features these devices offer many of which are thanks to the 8 Gen 2. Now, as with every year, Qualcomm announces a new mobile platform with industry-leading features. However, different manufacturers choose to implement and focus on different features based on their priorities. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the highlights. You're going to want to stay tuned for the last one because I'm sure most of you haven't seen it before and it really is mind-blowing. So first up, we have the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which is one of the highest ranked cameras of 2023. And what's unique about the Magic 5 Pro is that thanks to the Qualcomm Spectra Triple Cognitive ISPs, all the rear-facing cameras are the same resolution. 50 megapixels, meaning you get sharp and detailed images from the primary ultra-wide and telephoto cameras. The 8 Gen 2 also has an always sensing camera with AI and the Magic 5 Pro utilizes this for a few different things. One of my favorite features is AI motion sensing capture. This enables the camera to recognize varied scenarios precisely, intelligently identifying and highlighting the point in each scenario to help users automatically capture the best moment every time. Now this is really easy to use. You just have to hold the phone still enable the AI motion sensing feature and leave the phone to auto capture someone who is jumping, for example. Now you can see this example that we took at MWC. We got this shot in the first take. If you've ever tried to take a picture of somebody jumping before, you know that it usually takes at least four or five takes, but with the AI motion sensing capture feature, this was so easy to do. Next up, we have the Xiaomi 13 Pro, which has Fast Connect 7800, an advanced 14 nanometer Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity system designed to deliver ultra high speeds. That's up to 5.8 gigabits a second and sustained low latency, which is as little as two milliseconds and premium Bluetooth audio. Fast Connect 7800 also supercharges the Snapdragon sound technology suite, Bluetooth LE audio and Bluetooth 5.3 with next generation dual Bluetooth. So that's two radios with dedicated connections designed to enable Bluetooth accessories to work at twice the range to pair in half the time and makes changing a Bluetooth connection from say a smartphone to a PC or earbuds to a car system instant and seamless. Now let's talk about fingerprint scanners. So personally speaking, my favorite fingerprint scanners are in-display fingerprint scanners, in particular ultrasonic in-display fingerprint scanners because they are the fastest and most accurate out there. And we already know that Qualcomm has been the best in the game for these for many years. Now with the Vivo X90 Pro Plus, this has the Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max, the world's largest ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor for smartphones. And this works by using sound waves to read two fingers simultaneously, making things a lot more secure, especially for banking apps. The Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max transmits an ultrasonic pulse against the fingers and the 3D pulse reflection creates a detailed 600 millimeter squared reproduction of the scanned fingerprints for quick and higher security performance. And integrating the Qualcomm 3D Sonic fingerprint reader behind a smartphone's display enables a seamless and sleek look. It has an ultra thin sensor, just around 0.2 millimeters thin, which enables a range of form factors such as this full glass edge-to-edge -edge display and can be widely used with flexible OLED displays too. In addition to that, the Qualcomm 3D Sonic Max can deliver high performance across a wide range of conditions, whether it's dry, wet, I mean, you could be in between your lunch and you could still unlock your smartphone and it's much faster compared to legacy solutions when fingers are wet. Finally, we have one of my favorites, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And this unit in particular has something special, which we'll come to in a second. So the Galaxy S23 series debuted an accelerated Qualcomm Adreno GPU that enables real-time hardware accelerated ray tracing to deliver lifelike light reflections and illuminations in mobile games. And with 
the support for the latest Vulkan APIs, the Galaxy S23 series enables improved graphics performance and helps developers accelerate the transition of desktop games to mobile. So gamers on the S23 series are able to experience photorealistic human characters in their games due to the support for the Unreal Engine 5 MetaHumans framework. And uh, having gamed on the S23 Ultra for the past few months, it is one of the best out there. The Galaxy S23 series also includes Qualcomm's fastest and most advanced Qualcomm AI engine, which provides groundbreaking AI integrated across Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Galaxy. This is fueled by an upgraded Qualcomm Hexagon processor and allows the Galaxy S23 series to enable micro towel interfacing, helping to accelerate complex AI models for increased AI performance. Featuring the latest Qualcomm Sensing Hub, the S23 series now packs dual AI processors to support intuitive on-device AI experiences like echo cancelling and noise cancellation during calls. And having made lots of calls on the S23 Ultra, even from loud environments when I'm in an event, people on the other side have been able to hear me nice and clear thanks to this. Now, the one you've been waiting for, which in my opinion is the coolest feature, Stable Diffusion. So what is Stable Diffusion? It's a text to image generative AI model capable of creating photorealistic images given any text input within tens of seconds. Now with over 1 billion parameters, Stable Diffusion has primarily been confined to running in the cloud until now. In February, Qualcomm AI Research performed full stack AI optimizations using the Qualcomm AI stack to deploy Stable Diffusion on a reference design powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which is the first time it was shown on an Android smartphone. And I have it ported right here on this Galaxy S23 Ultra. It's currently not commercially available, but let me just give you a preview of what this can do. So for the text, I'm gonna be putting photo of alien dog in astronaut costume in space. We're gonna give it some more parameters to get the best results. Photorealistic 4K ultra detail V-Ray rendering, Unreal Engine. Now if you generate this within just a few seconds, between five to 15 seconds, we have an image which uh, I think you will agree is pretty awesome. Let's try something else. Now we're gonna give it something a bit more specific. So super staff with sunglasses, full face, photorealistic 4K, ultra detail, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so although this doesn't look exactly like me, it actually looks like my friend Azam, but you've got the beard, you've got the sunglasses, and you've also got my receding hairline. I'm, I'm so blown away by this, this is so cool. Now, running stable diffusion on a smartphone is just the start. All of the full stack research and optimization that went into making this possible will flow into the Qualcomm AI stack. And Qualcomm's one technology roadmap allows them to scale and utilize a single AI stack that works across not only different devices, but also different models. This means that the optimizations for stable diffusion to run efficiently on phones can also be used for other platforms like laptops, XR headsets, and virtually any other device powered by Qualcomm Technologies. So those are just some of the features enabled on these flagship devices thanks to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. If you want to find out more about what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is capable of, I've covered some of the highlights with some of my friends in the video here, and I'll also leave a link in the description. What is your favorite feature on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2? Do let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, as always, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then do consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon. Thanks for watching. This is Saf on SuperSaf TV. I'll see you next time.